With the millions of people that rent a home in the United Kingdom, shocking reports reveal that 97% of tenants are not familiar with their rights as a tenant, as against their landlord. And this is particularly important when the house needs to be repaired for one reason or another. Now, just as a brief flag, this is a sponsored video, but I will come back to that later and it might be very worth your while. If you rent your home, your landlord is required by law to carry out any necessary repairs on your property. The bottom line is, if you've asked your landlord to repair your property for certain damage, which I'll come back to in a moment, then you might be eligible for compensation for what's known as a housing disrepair compensation. It is also often possible to get a court to order the landlord to make these repairs without you having to leave the home. Sticking with the legal requirements, the landlord is required again by law to ensure that your home is in a good state of repair, both structurally and internally, that there is no rising damp or mould throughout the property, so long as it's not you that has caused it by failing to open windows, for example, and also that you have safe access to gas and electricity and water, and also that your facilities are working properly, such as your toilets and your sink and so on. Your landlord is also required to ensure that your house is free of vermin such as mice and rats and other infestations and many other things including that your roof is intact and safe and doesn't leak and so on. As I said previously, if any of these things are not addressed by your landlord, you may be eligible for housing disrepair compensation. But despite all this, research conducted by Shelter found that 48% of families in social housing who reported issues about poor or unsafe conditions felt that their complaints had been ignored or indeed they were outright refused help altogether. Now for anyone that has such a complaint, as I've said in previous videos, evidence is everything. You need photographs, you need dates and times and details of what happened. It doesn't need to be written up in any kind of fancy legal jargon, it could just be written on a piece of paper. This is what happened, this is when it happened, and photographs of any damage, any leaks, any vermin, any damaged or dangerous electricity outlets and all of these kind of things. You need photographs, you need evidence, but that is all you really need to do on your part to support any kind of claim. Now as I mentioned previously this video is sponsored by way of affiliation with claim experts who I've mentioned before. If you are in social or council housing claim experts have a panel of solicitors that work on no win no fee meaning that you don't have to pay anything in order to have them assess your claim and if there is a claim there they can progress it for you and it won't cost you anything if you lose the claim. This is one sure way of ensuring that the problems at your house are going to be fixed and I am assured that you will not be evicted from your home and that you you will receive compensation for all of the trouble of going through this process. As you can probably see by now, there's a link on the screen which you can type into a browser. I've also put that link in the description below where you can go read more about this process. You can submit your details to claim experts for them to evaluate the claim for you. You will need, as I said, to provide photographs and evidence and cooperate with the claim if there is such a claim. But as I said, the process is not going to cost you anything either to evaluate the claim or to run the claim. And there is no risk to you if the claim is unsuccessful successful because it's on what we call a no win no fee basis, meaning if the claim succeeds the costs are recovered from the other party. So as you can imagine there are lots of different discrete areas to cover within this housing disrepair scheme so I will be coming back with more videos to explain some of these if you have any further questions so please drop those in the comments box below and I'll come back to those next time and in the meantime thank you for watching.